Hello, this is Caria again, and I have today for you a very exciting review. I have the Harry Potter coloring book, which took me a while to get because I had to go um, what felt like all over because nobody had it and Amazon was taking forever to ship and it was just a disaster. But anyway, um, I have for you the Harry Potter coloring book and I am super excited um, because I have my favorite Audible link, um, audibletrial.com slash coloring. Um, if you sign up for a free trial, you can get the Harry Potter books that they now have on audible.com, which I'm not sure if you knew that because that's very, very new. And that is super exciting. And um, when you sign up for a free trial, you get a 30-day free trial and you get a one Audible for, book for free, which you can get the um, Harry Potter Audible book of your choosing. All right, so let's get started. Just so you know how I am with Harry Potter. Um, I got into it from my then girlfriend, now wife, um, told me about Harry Potter and was like, oh, you should read these books. They're really good. And we got into it. And I just have been total Potterhead ever since. Um, so I have all seven print books. I have all seven audiobooks. Um, don't forget to check out your link, bros. Um, and I have all seven um, ebooks for my Kindle. So that, you know, I always have Harry Potter nearby in one form or another. Um, so anyway, let's get started and talk to you about some facts about this book. Let me put this link up for you up here while I read to you some facts of the book. The book retails for $15.99, although Amazon had it for $9.56 at the time, although they weren't shipping. It's double-sided, 90, 96 pages. Um, it is 8 by 11 and the pages are, you know, kind of see-through. Uh, we're we're going to talk about the, the quality and um, the nature of my disappointment in a minute. But let me show you what we have here before I get all disappointed for you. Um, at the very end, we're going to go through the link. So um, the books kind of sort of go in order of events let me try to see because i know people requested that all the whole thing be shown but this is kind of a large book the other thing um that i see in this book um that you're you're gonna see me sort of complain about is first of all it's double-sided which you know i'm never happy with um the other thing is that um there's a lot of wallpaper type pages like pages like this where it's not it's just it looks like a wallpaper so that's fine um but that's kind of a thing. So you have the very first, so it goes in order and I think this traces, it feels like this traces like all seven books, um, kind of, sort of. So that was basically, that's all they did for book one. And then this is, you know, book two, again, another wallpaper page, um, more book two stuff, uh, Dobby, um, this, this section here, um, I think this is, hold on, is there a page in between? The pages are, you can't really tell, or maybe you can, but the, maybe you can kind of see it up here, but the pages are kind of see-through, which I haven't really seen, um, in that many books that are, I don't think I've seen that in that many books that are two-sided. Usually if I see that, the book is single-sided. Um, but anyway, this is more the events. This is, I think, the start of three. By the way, it's got some weird, the, the ordering of the pages is just really bizarre. And a lot of the art feels more like comic book art than coloring book art. Because like for here, for example, like a lot of the stuff, like the shading is already done for you. And I don't know about you, but for me, the shading is a lot of the fun part. But anyway, the four houses kind of show up in a weird and like there's no real order to when the four houses show up like I said um another weird page I guess this is supposed to be the start of book four um let's see the egg but then this part is from book three but see this was in was that in book four was this in book four I, I can't remember Oh, no, because book four had the different, um, this was from when they had to fight the bog. At, at least I think that also this is from. Um, this is from four when they had the egg, but then this is from three when they had to fight the bog. And you see what I'm saying? Um, 
And this is definitely from three. So it, it, it's 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 weird. It, it, like I said, it's weird. It's it's almost in order, but not quite in order. Um, so that's um, Slytherin. Like I said, the uh, the thingamajigs are the logos for the houses. I don't. They're all in weird places. Another like wallpaper ish type page. Um, that could be from any of the books. This is definitely, uh, I think this is the Grindelows, which were in book four. Um, this might be the, the ship from, I think it's Durmstrang. Uh, this, you know, you know, uh, I've rented in the past about, um, strange sort of divisions. And I think Harry, Harry Potter cut off like this is really bizarre when they could have put them off to the side a little bit. I think that's so that it's easier to recycle the art, which there's, it seems to be a lot of recycled art and not a lot of um, thought put into getting new stuff. So this, this page just looks like somebody drew, like this page literally looks like somebody drew the scarf Somebody drew the glasses and somebody drew the uh, the snitch and then they said, okay, well, then let's just paste that over and over again and that'll be a page. Okay, sure. I mean, sh sure. If that's what you want to do. I mean, okay, okay, sure. Um, we, we, ah, Weasley's Wizard Wheezies. Um, she's in a strange place. Like, if you're going to have wallpaper pages, like, and then you're gonna be single sided. Then why not have the wallpapers pages like in between, like so that you know something that I'm saying. Like this, I don't know. It, it's weird. It's it's weird. There's a lot of really good colorable pages in in a row, and then a lot of really sort of wallpapery. Once again, this is more wallpapery type stuff. Um, this has more. Okay, so they. So they had Gryffindor and Slytherin that we saw earlier on, and then just randomly in the middle, here's um, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff, just randomly right next to each other. Sure, let's just fit stuff in, you know. So, so there's, it's it's just super bizarre. Okay, so then this I think is all the way up to book seven. So I think that we just skip the books in between. Am I am I overthinking this? Like you'll tell me in the comments if. I'm overthinking it, but this feels like book seven. So it feels like we just skipped a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, more wallpaper pages, wallpaper, wallpaper. Uh, all right. So this is, uh, this is a pretty decent page. You know, this is actually, um, some stuff. Uh, once again, the, the shading is done for you a little bit, but not too bad. More wallpaper. Um, this is the very end of seven, um, but we still got a bunch of book to go, so we'll see what the rest of it is made up of. Uh, okay, so the dough, okay, so random sneaker scope at the end, and then there's a bunch of color pages that made me want to throw the book across the room because these are not examples of how it can be colored. These are just concept art from the movies. So this isn't like how you would color it. This is freaking concept art from the movies. It's been recycled. And I know it's concept art from the movies. It's been recycled because in the credits, it tells me this is concept art from the movies that's been recycled. See, it says concept art. This, this, is, this is all like movie concept art that's been recycled. All right, I'm gonna take a deep breath. Okay, okay. So more movie concept art. So again, not necessarily coloring book art or examples of how you would color it. So they're just taking these color pages and showing me movie stills that um, show up on the DVD and on the movie and on all this other stuff. Like we already saw this in the movie. Okay, we saw this. So um, not how you would color it, but just, you know, recycled. All right, I took my deep breath. All right, so now let's actually see how they color. All right, so I got you here. Um, it does not want to lay flat. Um, I am personally disappointed with a lot of the choices. The the quality is. I actually haven't had a book where I had to fight with it to get it to do that first. So um, you know, this is a slight money grab. 
you know, so they, they got you, they know you're going to buy the book no matter what, so why put the effort into it, into making it a nice coloring book? Anyway, so you see the color pencil, let's, let's, let's see how this survives the watercolor test that I do for every single book that I review. Um, and some fare better than others, and a lot of times you can't really tell based on, and I'm not even using as much water as I've used in some of the other tests. You guys have seen some of my other tests where I've literally just taken the whole thing of water and just gone nuts. Alright, so now, now I've gone nuts. Alright, so now I've really laid the water down. All right, so let's see what it looks like on the other end. Well, these are double-sided, so usually when it's... Ugh, so this is the um, Copic... Hold, hold, hold. This might actually... Look, look, we might actually be surprised. All right, so there's some buckling, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, there's definitely been books where um, it just sort of comes apart. But um, you definitely can't use your Copic, so your alcohol-based markers are out. Um, as they were going to be anyway, and your um, water-based markers, your pit pen right there is, um, I would test them, but there's no testing page, um, except for if you use that first page, but again, if there's a problem, then this, this one page is not usable. There's not really a um, plain test page, so... They use this page for the copyright information. So there's that. Um, you do get the color pages um, that are used very ineffectively. So um, what's my ultimate conclusion on this book? This is not necessarily a don't buy. This is just a watch my review and watch me get angry at the very end when they decided to have all those color pages that are not examples of how the book would be colored, um, thus wasting both my money and a valuable opportunity. Um, so in conclusion, this is basically a money grab. If you are the world's biggest Potterhead, get this. If not, there's lots of other really good coloring books out there. For your nine dollars, you can get the lost, you know, the lost garden for that. That I've reviewed a number of books. You can get, I think, birds that I reviewed. Also, I'll give you a link up here to birds. Birds is cheaper. Um, on Amazon you know there's a lot of other options uh, at the end of the day is your money you do you personally if I wasn't reviewing this book I would have taken this back the only reason I kept this book and the only reason I made it unreturnable is because I wanted to show you guys so you guys could know and so that you guys wouldn't have to spend the money so anyway having said that um help me offlay some of these costs if you can consider trying out for audible.com and you will get a copy of whatever book you want i definitely recommend harry potter which would be yours to keep um and um there'll be a link to this at the very bottom there's a whole bunch of other links there for um past reviews that i've done all sorts of other information um current giveaways they will be a link here to one of the giveaways um, and then you can click on that and you can see one of the giveaways that's currently on right now. But thank you so much for staying with me. I apologize for my rage machine that you saw earlier. Um, I will try not to get enraged like that in the future. So thank you very much and um, have a good day. Bye.